Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a magical day and it's next today even more magical because today we're doing uh Diana and Gutinova next to you, which sounds very, very cool. Very, very interesting. And I'm just excited to see where this will go. We also have next week Diana and Gutinova, same day, same time. And we have Morris set on Wednesdays and Quinn Strike on Fridays. Um, of course, it's important to note that next week on Saturday, we'll also be showing a digital huge like mural of like me drawing these uh, bands and singers, as well as um, you get to see basically the whole like development until now of the, the four piece. And um, after that, after that's done, we, we just have like, this is, oh, this is insane. This is like just the final of finishing touch of everything and it is so cool to think that you know like after all this in a couple of weeks i will like during this month coming in right now i will have finished uh my digital huge mural with every single artist i've ever drawn now drawn digitally it's insane <laughs> wow just thinking about it makes me be like wow really really insane okay so let's go ahead and check out this one because i'm very excited i want to see what's gonna happen uh diana always just amazes me with her lyrics messages metaphors similarities differences in her voice uh new things that might come up when it comes to like the music that she chooses to work around her songs with and it's just very interesting every single time so Without further ado, let's go. Okay, so I love it until now. It's beautiful. I love that it has that extra beat behind it it gives it like a new it's like we're touching a different genre in this song rather than in uh for yeah, first monday we checked it out uh so this song has a more pop-ish sound but then again that guitar that classic guitar you hear that acoustic one is beautiful it just brings me back to her whole like main identity and everything and it is beautiful i love how we have her deep dark, dark vocals just like singing even the chest voice like parts the main just lyric parts and it's not just used to change just like her throughout like to th throw around as change in her voice but it's like also uses like her actual like chest voice because it is her actual chest voice and it's one of the most beautiful things uh, you listen to when it comes to these songs, and I love it, is just how interesting that is to hear. Like, that deepness, but also, like, the lyrics. and it, ugh, It's so beautiful. And then you have that calmness brought in. When you think of a deep vocal, you would think that it would go deep, hard, harsh, a lot of gear. Um to give emphasis, to give, like, tension. This, on the other hand, just completely calms you and relaxes you, and it is beautiful to just, like, experience. And it's just... It's so, so insane to think that this is used as a... Like, uh, it's it sang at such a relaxing tone, and it's so deep. It's so special. And what she does with her voice is so special. That comes in contrast with everything we know about how we know deep, dark vocals. Heavy metal, rock, all that. And then you see this and then you listen to this and you're like, oh, 
whole new chapter and what the deep voice and what it can do. It's so cool. I love this. I love this part how it just sharply goes up and not too up. I can still hear a bit of a deepness, but it's also like light parts of her voice. It's kind of airy, it's kind of like sweet, beautiful, and it's so nice because it, I can feel her feelings in the vocals and you can you can understand very, very well how she just wants to get through that feeling and that's why that voice changes in that way and not in a different way. And it's so nice, you can understand directly for what reason the voice is pitching up and not pitching lower, for example, in this specific moment. It's so, so beautiful gives a nice change to the song but also I, I still feel like it keeps a very very consistent track and I really like that. I love when she holds her notes in the specific parts. It is beautiful and it just sounds so velvety and so beautiful and just like strong but also calm and relaxing. It is, it's still, it still amazes me until now listening to her, how her vocals like this could be like used and like sang in such a calm way and it works when someone would tell you, hey, I'm a, I'm a very, very deep vocalist. Um, there's no way I can sing like the lighter parts of the song or something and you show them this and you're like oh wait but like but it works why not try it it's it's so beautiful she's clearly found what she wants to do and she doesn't care like hey deep vocals heavy metal rock and all that which is super fun and super beautiful to see because she's just created a whole new identity for music and deep vocals specifically and I love that I absolutely love that. True. Okay, okay, I really, really like how we had a version, a kind of high note, but it wasn't also. It's so beautiful how it sounded. Let's go through that again because it was kind of like the high note of that specific like vocal range, the highest we've seen until now, but it was also very, very faint and like specifically like controlled to a specific point, a specific time. And it was so, so nice to listen to. <laughs> That was beautiful and then she comes in with a deeper more honey-ish kind of sound than the sweetness she had before and it emphasizes it even more it's very faint it's very small but it is so beautiful how she finishes that note a bit higher than the rest and a bit fainter than the rest and you're like oh small high note like you you, you want to capture and hold that and just listen and like consume it the, the best you can because it's gone right after like it's it's missing 
straight after that moment. It is beautiful, beautiful. Like that specific moment, and I love it. I love how it finished with her just singing that part, no backing vocals or anything. But the backing vocals we have to mention are beautiful. I also love how we had a male backing vocalist and not just, let's say, female ones. Because I feel like with her strong, deep voice, male one just like comes through but also enhances. It's, it's so beautiful. Just like the combination works so well. It's so, so beautiful. I love also the game we play with that vocal around here. It's like kind of heard, kind of not. You're not sure if they're singing something or not at all. <laughs> you're in some like trap. You're like, is this the lyrics? Is this not? It's probably somewhere in between, to be honest. <laughs> if I would have to guess, I'd say it's kind of starting a lyric and then kind of finishing it faintly or something. Beautiful nonetheless. I love it. I enjoyed this so much. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. I also love the video and the fact that she just goes around the beach because we're talking about summer and being together and it's so so beautiful. She just like runs around the beach and just has fun. It's something a dream or a child would do just like in a fairy tale or something or like after seeing a beautiful movie you just go to the beach and there's no one so you don't care and you just or if there's someone but you, you still don't care. You just go around have fun like this and it's so dreamy like so appropriate for the song and i love it it also shows how much more she enjoys the song because she thought of this setting specifically uh, it's so so pretty she's done it in such a simple way but it works so well it is so beautiful and enjoyable you get to experience such a beautiful sunset picture and her just playing around with the wind, with the the colors of the screen, just like all around. I love the effect of the camera, kind of oldish, kind of like filming old camera that kind of has a little glitch or something here and there while filming. It's so nice. It's so playful. Uh, it takes you to another time, a more relaxed time, a more laid back time, also a more hardworking time. But in this case, it works in that sense in a more like relaxed, a more digital less. Digital, digital, less, I don't know if that's word, but let's, less digital things, so savoring more the moment, the actual time spent around here, like, so very interesting indeed, and I love that, I love that, how I got to that image and to that point of thinking that because of how she presented everything, and it's so beautiful. Uh, it's kind of poetic because you're thinking in the past, but you haven't lived that time in that past. So you're reimagining things in their best version of the past, <laughs> in a way. <laughs> Which is pretty funny. Uh, but also very sweet. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. It's quite poetic every time I think I listen to one of Diana's songs. And it's very beautiful and always enjoyable. There's always something new, like this new beat in the background. But I feel like it worked so well that I, I love it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, click the bell for notifications that will be sent. As I said, next Monday we have another Diana uh, video. Hope you're excited. Also, next Wednesday we have Marset. Also this Wednesday. And this Friday and next Friday we have Queen's Break. So, for now, bye bye